of the questions I'm always being asked on the channel, and indeed away from the channel, is about how you cope with the nerves associated with playing the game. Well, you know, when we talk about uh, playing the game at match level, and indeed way up to professional level, there's no doubt about it, the mental side of the game is very, very important. What I like to start with is that by saying that if you have a very, very sound technique, then that's halfway through to, to the, the point of being mentally strong. If I highlight the point where I'm getting down and I'm saying to myself, oh, I don't like these shots in practice, there is no way I'm going to be mentally strong when it comes to playing that same shot in a match. It just doesn't work. But if I can get down and I have a, a pre-shot routine and I do that pre-shot routine all the time and I've taken it to extreme, I point the cue, I do my pre-shot routine and invariably the ball goes in, then I've got a fair chance of being mentally strong. If we look at, uh, at the very top level and we look at Mark Selby, world number one and world champion, if you really look at him play and analyse his technique, what he will do is point the cue. That's the first stage. The next stage he'll do two feathers. One, two, wait, play the shot. That is Mark's uh, method of coping mentally and physically with the pressures of the game. Now we go to the other extreme and somebody like Ronnie, who's more of a flamboyant player, Ronnie has grooved his technique over the years and he's quite flamboyant and quite long. That's Ronnie's way, he likes the, the natural approach to the game. Now if, if Ronnie played like Mark, I'm sure he'd go down, certainly go down a level. And if Mark tried to play like Ronnie, he'd go down a level. The real essence is to find your own way of doing things. And it starts, please believe me, it starts with a very, very sound technique. So get your stance right, your approach to the shot right, point the cue, whatever you do here in terms of preparation, mine is something like point the cue, one and two and three, wait, play the shot. Now if I can do that every time and I'm getting reasonable success, then why shouldn't I be mentally strong? Added to that, now we look at increasing the oxygen levels in the body. Uh, I was a PE instructor and believe, believe me, pressure comes in all forms, in all, all the sports, whether it be basketball, weightlifting, swimming, pressure is there. And if you can breathe correctly to get more uh, oxygen into the body because there's a vacancy there. If you watch a baby breathe, right, they're laid down, and watch their tummy rise. This is the diaphragm working and getting more oxygen into the body. We as adults, we tend to become lazy and we only use the upper parts of the lungs. We're not using diaphragmatic breathing. So there's still spent gases in there. We don't get the correct amount of oxygen in there. So what we should be doing is breathing from the tummy here, expanding it out getting rid of the spent gases and getting more oxygen in. This feeds the brain, it feeds the muscles. You've got more oxygen into the blood. So as in more oxygen into the blood, the organs, everything works that little bit better. And that includes the brain. So don't forget your breathing. Breathe in and breathe out. Now a good, a good idea is to say to yourself from there, you're breathing in to the count of five, breathe out to the count of seven. Or if you're breathing in to the count of three, breathe out to the count of five. You're getting rid of those spent gases. Very, very important. And please take it from me. It will help you with your mental abilities when you come to play this game. We'll be covering this aspect of sports psychology on the channel uh, in greater deal in greater detail later on. But there's a good starting point. So what we're looking at, establishing a pre-shot routine, 
Correct your breathing by breathing diaph diaphragmatically from here. Get the oxygen into your system. It will help. Take it from me. Thank you.